finding natural oil and gas energy reserves is, in itself, challenging enough. Extracting them, however, can be even more complex and capital-intensive, and leaves no margin for error. Increasingly, the world's leading energy corporations have to target more remote regions of the planet to develop new processing and pumping facilities. The risks are high, but so too are the rewards and economic benefits for both industry and national and local economies. In Papua New Guinea, the discovery of natural gas deposits in its Hela, southern highlands and western provinces offered the potential to increase the country's GDP. ExxonMobil PNG Limited, the operator of the PNG LNG project, estimates that over the life of the gas production and processing project, over 9 trillion cubic feet of gas will be produced and sold. The company began construction of the project in 2010, and first LNG will be exported in the second half of 2014. But first, there was a major logistics issue. Well, the challenges the client was facing in case land transportation was selected was absence of roads, was the poor quality of roads which often look like a potato field more than a road, uh, the fact that the rivers are not navigable, the fact that the bridges sometimes are too narrow or too weak and you would have to build new bridges, demolish old bridges, that is a big investment. Plus the weather challenges, it rains up to 9,000 millimeters in the highlands. Uh, the criminal situation in the country is a separate question. Uh, it's extremely dangerous to send expensive outsized equipment by road because the trucks can simply be not arriving at the destination. So air freight of this complex, uh, outsized, heavy, expensive equipment looked like the option, provided the fact that the airport could actually be built in the highlands. So what we had to do is come up with a means of evaluating whether this uh, area was had any location suitable for the plane. And you, you not only have to worry about the three something thousand meters of the actual runway, but also the approaches and the, the, the whole surrounding area. You have to be sure that the aircraft can land, it can take off, it can do a missed approach and all the other safety operational aviation margins that you have to consider. So we flew a helicopter above the whole area we literally imitated the approach, uh, the takeoff and all the other maneuvers of Antonov 124 aircraft on the helicopter. We measured the heights to the obstacles. We then built this picture of terrain to see where the obstacles were workable and not workable. And in the end, uh, two of the proposed locations were discarded and two were suggested suitable. One of them was recommended and that was the one that, where the client actually built the airport and it proved to be a successful decision. Building a gas conditioning plant in the highlands of Papua New Guinea was not going to be easy. The region is predominantly rugged mountainous terrain and conditions are made more challenging by the 9,000 millimeters of rainfall in the area throughout the year. ExxonMobil recognized that to overcome these challenges would require an innovative logistic solution and a lot of thinking outside of the box. And also there is the time scale as well. If we have um, you know, completion of the plant, it's essential, and if that plant isn't completed on time, the penalty clause is for delay of operation. You take that into consideration with the fact that the actual cargo itself, the, the plant itself, which has been disassembled to be moved to the, to the highlands, the actual period of time that allows for movement, would, it would not have been completed if we'd used the road system. ExxonMobil contracted Volga Dnieper Airlines the world's largest transporter of outsize and heavyweight air cargo, which over more than 20 years had demonstrated its unique ability to make the impossible possible. And so after the first stage, we started to uh, really check every single piece of cargo for suitability to be loaded into Antonov 124. Uh, we did it on production line, production stage of the factories in different, different countries of this world. Uh, because it would be too late in Port Moresby to solve technical problems, uh, we apply our knowledge, our experience, our expertise to make sure every single piece of cargo is suitable for Antonov 124. Uh, we really don't solve problems. We avoid the appearance. For Volga Dnieper, working on projects some years in advance of performing an actual flight operation, 
is part and parcel of its unique place in the world of aviation. The size and design of big pieces of high-value industrial equipment, aircraft components and space satellites are often based on their ability to fit into the airline's fleet of giant Antonov AN-124 freighters. Because major global corporations recognize the vital role Volga Dnepa plays in their supply chain. Uh, then it was the clients team visiting us at our offices and we sat together in a big group analyzing the number of flights required, the possible locations such as Singapore, Brisbane, Port Moresby, Darwin, Jakarta, every single port in the area was analyzed. How often we would be able to fly, how many flights a week, how long the whole program would take, because that was the most critical factor. The gas had to be delivered to the first client by a specific date, and that date was not negotiable, and all of us had to make every effort to make sure we squeeze the project, the delivery of all the cargo into the given window. In 2010, work began on the new Como airfield. To be able to handle AN-124 freighter operations would require building Papua New Guinea's longest paved runway at 3,200 meters. Once complete, the new airport would be able to welcome the world's largest series-produced cargo aircraft with its 73-meter wingspan, maximum takeoff weight of 392 tons and payload of up to 120 tons. It would feed construction equipment and materials virtually to the door of the gas processing site through a series of 90-minute flights from Port Moresby. The Soviet-built AN-124 makes light work of logistics projects well beyond the capability of other commercial airliners. In terms of cargo handling, the aircraft is virtually self-sufficient. Craneless loading and offloading technology saves hours and eliminates any additional costs arising from the need for third-party handling equipment. In this case, reducing the time the aircraft needed to spend on the ground was essential to the one flight per day schedule set for the project. After five years of planning, Volga Dnepr's first AM124 flight touched down on the new runway at Como Airfield on May the 3rd 2013. A sense of great pride and achievement was felt by everyone involved in the project. But this was just the start of an intensive flying program. Over the next 103 days, 88 Volga Dnepr AN-124 cargo flights safely transported 6,000 tons of equipment and materials that would help to turn an ambitious project plan into a reality. For Volga Dnepr, it was mission accomplished. We succeeded to deliver our promise by working together and exploiting the advantages of technology. It was a successful mix of aircraft, Antonov 124, technological know-how, our loading gear and knowledge how to use it to the best advantage, and the human spirit, the dedication and professionalism of our people who delivered the end result on time and with a quality better than the customers expected. It was a true team effort. In 2014, ExxonMobil will deliver its first gas supplies to consumers in Asia, once again proving that by combining the best human spirit, endeavor and engineering, there is no logistics challenge that cannot be overcome.